Hello, you handsome humans, and welcome to step 11 up the tribe triangle. We're starting to consolidate the base, the foundation of our tribe triangle, which is the first 13 steps. And so this foundation of alignment uh, can be viewed in a lot of ways, but we're going to use the topic of brand to explore the consolidation of all these things because brand is not just your logo, not just a slick slogan. It is literally your reputation. And there's very little that is more important than that in a communal species such as ours. Your brand, your reputation are arguably as important as your character in defining your destiny. So put some serious thought into your brand because it's what people think about you when they do think about you. And so brand should be intentional as your character and your values should be intentional. And this is one of the, the, the nuts of being a tribe leader and a leader is intentionality. You're not just simply reacting to the world, you're responding to the world. And the ability to respond is responsibility. So be intentional about what your brand represents. Now the idea of brand goes back to pre-Egyptian in terms of putting a mark, a symbol on cattle, which designates um, these are mine, these are not mine. Again, that's kind of a reputation based thing. And obviously it's expanded out into much larger topics. Um, we can divide it into three primary categories. And the first one will be um, your organizational brand, right? This is your company brand. And we all kind of understand what that is, right? Um, it's um, when you think about Ferrari or Coca-Cola or Disney or the Marines, they all have a certain um, you know, brand identity that when you think about it, it's going to lead a very clear picture of what it represents, and that's your vision, right? What do the Marines represent? Well, no surrender, there's a certain esprit de corps, there's um, leave no one behind, Semper Fi, right? That's a slick slogan, it means always faithful. Uh, we also, um, if you look at Ferrari, for example, which happens to be the most valuable brand on planet Earth currently, and it's not simply about the cars, right? It, 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 Ferrari is not as big as it is in terms of the brand because they sell a lot of those cars. They really don't. Um, the reason why it's so powerful is that it represents an ideal, a vision, an aspirational quality of life that Ferrari represents. So your brand does make, give you a feeling that should be aspirational and uplifting, whether it be the happiest place on earth, Disney, Semper Fi with the Marines, or the lifestyle of Ferrari. So there should be something that is aspirational about your brand. Um, and the same thing could be said about um, the coat of arms of a family, the medieval representation or brand of a family. It's not some low ball thing. You know, it is as aspirational as they can make it. And uh, we might as well shoot for something that is great. So vision is a portion of brand. Values is also a portion of brand. And when you think about the Marines, for example, um, or right when you think about Disney, you know there's going to be um, customer service involved with Disney. And you know there's going to be mission success and a certain code of ethics when you're dealing with the Marines. They do not retreat. They do not surrender. These are all value-based decisions. And you understand it when you see that Marine logo. You're like, ooh, okay, we're dealing with that. Very intentional. And then lastly, of course, the third pillar of your foundation of the Tribe Triangle, this is your mission. It's what you do. And so Ferrari, the cars go fast, right? It has to do with money and success. And so your brand really does encompass your vision, your values, and your mission. That is your reputation. So it should be with great intentionality. So we have that company brand. We also have a brand of a particular service or product within the company, right? And then lastly, we have our personal brand. So again, that coat of arms for the families, that would be a personal brand for a family, but you also have a brand, whether it is intentional or not, when people think about you, they think about a particular thing. They think about what you wear. They think about how you show up. Are you on time? Are you competent? Are you kind? Are you ambitious? Whatever those things are, whether they be values or vision or what you're able to do, which is your mission. That is your reputation. 
and your brand is well worth putting some serious thought into. And this is one of those things that you cannot do alone. And there's many of these things as humans, we need other people to give us some feedback about honest feedback. When I think about you, this is what I think about. So uh, homework challenge, uh, find a couple people that are willing to give you um, both positive and some critical feedback about your brand. And then it's up to you, tribe leader, to be able to fine tune that so that your reputation is a roadmap towards your destiny. We'll see you out there.